But I'm going to share with you another example of this. I'm going to sh on the screen, you're going to see a paragraph. The paragraph is going to contain a number of the, the letter Fs. Your job is to count how many times the letter F shows up. Do not count the one at the top left up there. I'm not trying to trick you. Don't count that one, OK? I'm going to give you about 10 seconds. Ready? Go. OK. So let me, hold on. Raise your hand if you counted a number, no more, no less. You counted four Fs. Raise your hand high so I can see. Hi. OK, a number of you. Five Fs. A number of you. Six Fs. A number of you. Seven Fs. A number of you. Eight Fs. A few of you. Nine Fs. OK. Pretty good distribution. The correct answer is eight. You, yeah, the silly ofs, right? The silly ofs, you miss the ofs if you miss them. But why do you miss the ofs? You miss the ofs because your brain sees the word of as an image and not as a word. So if you were to have read it backwards, or if English was your second language, you may catch all eight more easily. So your brain is trying to help you. It's filtering out all the noise, all the chaos. And at the same time, we're focused in our organizations, in our jobs, and so we have these forces that are actually getting in the way of us thinking about how to innovate, of us having that external view. Those forces get in the way of innovation. So if you take a, a kind of a word, word from the wise from arguably one of the most innovative companies in the world, I hate using Apple as an example, but basically Apple, who you could say is pretty innovative, is saying there's no formula for innovation. There is no formula for innovation. So what do you do? Well, that's why I'm going to talk a little bit about innovation culture. So I have a new book coming out that I'm actually going to share with you some of the things that are in it from my experience, research, case examples. The soft stuff is the hardest stuff for competitors to copy. That's what creates differentiation. So competitive advantage these days is temporary. You saw all those B companies. That's the challenge. Culture and how you organize and how you work together in your organizations and even with your partners is the only semi-sustainable competitive advantage. And it's not like you want to rubber stamp what Google and Apple and Facebook does into your own organization. That won't work. Every organization must unlock its unique innovation culture. The soft stuff is the hardest stuff for competitors to copy because it's your unique DNA. And I'm going to talk about how you create a culture of innovation. And that culture of innovation is really about how you think about getting that outside perspective, how you think about creating a business model that you can't copy very easily. And it's about how you disrupt yourself as an organization each and every day to make sure you're continually feeding the innovation pipeline. 